Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is March 15, 2024, Friday. The theme of today's devotional is Uncertain Times. The scripture is from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 16. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more acceptable sacrifice than Cain's. Through, he, through this, he received approval as righteous, God himself giving approval to his gifts. He died, but through his faith, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken so that he did not experience death. And he was not found because God had taken him. For it was attested before he was taken away that he had pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would approach God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah, warned by God about events, as yet unseen, respected the warning and built an ark to save his household. By this, he condemned the world and became an heir to the righteousness that is in accordance with faith. By faith, Abram obeyed when he was called to set out for a place that he was to receive as an inheritance, and he set out not knowing where he was going. By faith, he strayed for a time in the land. He stayed for a time in the land. He had been promised, as in a foreign land, living in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked forward to the city that has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, with Sarah's involvement, he received power of procreation, even though he was too old, because he considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one person, and this one as good as that, descendants were born, as many as the stars of heaven, and as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. <coughs> Excuse me. All of these died in faith without having received the promises. But from a distance they saw and greeted them. They confessed that they were strangers and foreigners on the earth. For people who speak in this way make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land that they had left behind, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire better homeland that is a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. Indeed, He has prepared a city for them. Amen. Today's scripture is from Lady who lives in Maryland. My wife and I sat in a neurologist's office to discuss the result of her MRI and the clinical insights of her documented falls, memory lapses, tremors, and other symptoms. My wife was diagnosed with a rare disorder of the brain known as progressive supranuclear palsy. 
The condition has no definitive diagnostic test, no known cause, and no cure. In today's scripture reading, we found we find that even the greatest of Bible characters were like us. They faced uncertain times. They didn't always receive all they hoped for. Things didn't always go their way. However, like all of us, by faith they possessed a longing for a better country, a heavenly one. And God prepares the heavenly place which will ultimately satisfy all our longings. Peace and joy are not dependent on our circumstances, but on the promises of God. We know beyond this earthly journey awaits in indescribable, wonderful, eternal life. Faith is indeed having confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Amen. What do you rely on when you cannot see any person or anything that you cannot you can rely on? Letter situation is not easy. Actually, it is her situation. But I see that he had faith in God and tried to hold the faith, the promise of God for the kingdom of God. Even though not much as he had, we also face hardships, difficulties, and tragedies in our lives. Maybe you have a stressful or very sad and tra uh, very sad situations you experience or you face now. Hebrews 11, chapter 11 is called the chapter of faith because it talks about the faith. And it is very important for us to know what is faith because the faith keep us, keeps us in God's grace and love. Faith keeps us in our faith journey and strengthens us to go with God on, in our journey. Through faith, many people get over the get that over the situations. Maybe we have the situation we cannot find any hope in there. Or we cannot see any good positive things. However, at least we know that God loves us so much and God cares for us so much and God promised us for God's salvation and God's kingdom finally. Although we don't the timeline of God and the ways that God will use us use for us, Still, when we have the faith that God is with us and God keeps us in God's arms and God will save us from these situations and strengthen us get to get over these things, our life, our days, and our times will be changed. When we are hopeless, everything is look like depression, look like disappointment. However, when we have faith based on God's words and based on God's grace love, we can take our heart and try to be strong and have peace in our hearts and try one by one to take care of the situations. Church family, what life would you like to have? Would you like to be depressed and disappointed and just sit down? Or would you like to have hope and peace in your heart and try to find what you can do 
and what you can try. What hearts would you like to have? The heart of worries or heart of peace? When we faith, when we have faith in our hearts, in our lives, we can choose peace, hope, and the next step for us. Because the faith is God's love and God's grace and assurance and confidence of God's love and grace in our lives. Church family, whatever you face, whatever you have, I hope don't lose the faith and keep the faith that God's love, uh, of God's love and grace towards us. And let us keep going on our faith journey with God because God is walking with us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, even during times when we may not feel your presence, thank you for always being with us. Your love endures forever. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Oh, not tomorrow, actually. Uh, on Sunday, at Sunday worship, at 10 o'clock, Little Falls United Methodist Church in New Jersey, 139 Main Street, Little Falls, or online, Facebook, or YouTube. Please join us worship. It is the Lenten season, and I usually I deliver the message uh, which is related to uh, the Lenten season. Also, I will see you next Tuesday for the daily devotional. Have a wonderful weekend, and see you on Sunday and next Tuesday. Bye.